Hello, I am Kat Flintz. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share a super, super exciting Bible. So this is like, I have to say so far out of all of the study Bibles I have in my collection to date, this is the most complex Bible I have ever seen. Wait until you see the inside. Now, just a, just a disclaimer. Do not get overwhelmed by what you see. It's very, very, very easily to get overwhelmed. Once you spend time with any Bible, you can get a better understanding about how to use it. And best of all, there are explanations on front on how to use this Bible. So just don't look at the, like, the layout of the Bible and be like, oh yeah, I can't do that. You can. So you just got to take time with it. But this is like the ultimate study Bible. So I'm so excited that I have this in my collection. Thanks to my sweet sister, Sonia. She sent this to me for this review so I could share it with you all. She knew this is definitely a Bible that has to be talked about. So this is the companion Bible. And then this is the spine. So it is a hardback. As you can tell, it is a huge, huge, huge Bible. And it is in an enlarged type. There is the publisher. It is the KJV translation. There's nothing special on the back. As you can tell, it's, yeah, this is like, it's like a textbook. Like this, this cover is perfect for this Bible. Like really it is. All right, and then once you see all the information on the inside, that price point you're going to be in shock okay so i'm not going to share too much because there is private information on this invoice but right here she paid 46.99 on christianbook.com so not a bad deal at all so first coming in, we get a cardstock. It is a paste down liner. There's no like real anything fancy. I mean, this is the basics for the Bible. You can't really do too much with the Bible this size. We do have red and gold matching head and tail bands. And I can't, I wanna say a glute binding, but there do, it does look like there's some signatures here. So this may be sewn. I didn't really look into that too much. We'll look into this together. Oh, my phone. I can't bring it up and down. My phone really has problems with that. I don't understand because it's a nice, bright, sunny day. All right, so we have a couple of blank pages here. Looks like three or four of them. There's three of them. We have the title page. Then we have the title page here. So I guess it's a pre-title page and then the actual title page because we got the publisher down here at the bottom. Then we have the copyright page. This copyright page is very, very, very important. So I'm sorry about the biker. He just, I don't know why he sits up there. He literally sits up there, ribs it up a couple of times, does not drive it, and goes right back in the house. I, he does it all the time, so <laughs> I don't know why, but there's special people everywhere. Okay, so right here, if we look, this has been broken up. Um, I guess the study, the study notes from what I'm reading here, is it here that it says that it has been, yeah. So it has been split up into multiple books over the years and now they finally condensed it into one Bible. So it's no longer just the Bible and then study notes. They actually brought it all back together. So it's yeah, that's, that was some cool information to know. And then, of course, you get your different ISBN numbers for the different cover choices. You get the hardcover. You get the burgundy hardcover, which I have. You get the bonded leather, the black bonded, then the genuine. You get all those choices. It is printed in South Korea. Now we have the table of contents, both old and new. This is what you must read. You have to read over the prefix. The prefix is tells you how to use this Bible. This is talking about over the text on what we're going to be seeing. So 
So I'm slowly going to go over it with you, but I'm not going to like go into too deep depth of it because I'm still learning about it. Once I really get into it, I'll obviously come back and show you more updates of it. Just like I did with the Thompson chain when I first got it, I didn't know anything about it. And then once I learned about it, I'll, I'll come back and help. Um, the margin, it talks about the margin, what you will see in the margin. They have this little itty bitty dot for words that are repetitive. I love that. I'm always paying attention to the repetitive words. There's marginal notes, all kinds of information over the marginal notes. The structure over it, the appendix, this is going to be really, really important. I marked a few in the back so we can look over it. The explanation. This is textural of the Hebrew words, so it's breaking up the words so we know how to pronounce them. The translation, the abbreviations. All right, so this is the structure of Genesis. There's this over, this literally overview, this is the introduction. So as you can tell, this isn't the normal introduction like you would get from the ESV or even from the Thompson chain, the TCR, like even the Dick Bible. This is an introduction like unlike any other on the market to date, as of I know. I don't own all the Bibles, but I do have a very good amount of Bibles in my collection and I have yet to see anything like this Bible. So, super excited and honored that I have it in my collection. I'll use my little bone folder. You can't tell. My little page has been up right here. But, um, let me give you a close-up real quick so you can see what we're looking at. Just, oh, just glaze. Just glaze over, over it as best you can. And just, there's a lot of information. Like, they have a timeline here going on. Another timeline, I mean, so much information. And then right down here at the very, very, very bottom, I'll take you back here at towards, like later on, but you'll see this. So I'll be referring to this. Actually, well, let's do it first, just in case I forget. So this says, complete the number of spiritual perfection. So it has two times seven equals 14. Now it's telling us to go back here to the appendix 10. So it does give you hopes on how to do it. So you're going to come back here. I bet there are going to be tons of pages that are going to be bent over <laughs> over time because of this Bible is so big. All right. So here's the beginning of the pen, um, the appendix. So it said 10. So we're going to look all the way down here until we see the 10. And then we're going to go to the page number 14. Luckily, just to save some time, I've already marked it. So there's 10, and it's on page 14. And then this is what that significance of that spiritual number is. So it's it's really easy. It's just You just got to follow the numbers, kind of like the chain system. That little number is really easy. All right. Let's get back into the Bible. This is the very first page. This is Genesis. So what we're looking at, there is a lot going on here. In this little box, this is the Word of God. This is the Bible part. Outside of it are the study notes for these few little verses. This really goes deep and it impacts so much information over just eight verses. So if we come in close here, we have A1, A, then we have P1 and B. So it's just so much. Like I said, I'll come back later on because I don't really want to give too much like, hey, you, I, I could show you super, super quickly, but let me back here out. So that was A1. You just come back down here to A1, and there's the P1. And then, I mean, it's just, there's so much information. Like, literally, so much information. You're bouncing back and forth. But this is not a Bible that you would read 
daily. This isn't something that you just are going to pick it up. It's going to be a comfortable read. This is going to be your daily driver. You're going to take it to church. This is not this kind of Bible. Every Bible has its purpose and its time. This is a Bible where you want to do a deep, di a deep dive into one scripture, maybe two, and you really want to study it. You want to take it apart. This is the Bible for that. I love having these Bibles in my collection just for that purpose because sometimes I do. I really want to get the meat of that verse and I just don't want to have um, like, I don't know a Bible off my head, like like a devotional Bible to where it's just, it's just not meaty enough. It's just real frou-frou is how I like to call it and, and it's just, it's just lightweight. It's like there's I get the verse. I know what I'm understanding. You're trying to veer me a different way, but I, I want I want more. I want to be fed more. I want more knowledge. This is the Bible that you will come to. Obviously, you're really going to think and it's going to make your wills turn, but you can't easily get overwhelmed. Let's not do that. Let's just take our time with this Bible. Just get to know it. The more that you're in it, the easier it will become. But definitely don't still steer clear because it looks so overwhelming. Like you're going to miss out so much. And as I say with every study Bible, please, 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 please do not change your theological sound mind that you're being guided through the Holy Spirit to form and uh, to change because of some man-made notes. Never ever do that. I always say you chew up the notes like literally you chew them up you eat them you you digest them you meditate over them and you spit out the bones whatever doesn't make sense to you whatever doesn't seem right you just you go over it don't collect everything else that is um really really positive really can feed your soul because you missed maybe two three notes in here that you don't agree with there could be tons other that, that you do and you're just like Oh, I don't agree with this note, so forget this whole Bible. Please, please, please do not do that. Use the whole Bible, get what you can out of it, and then move on to the next. That's how I always recommend doing it. That's what I do with my own with my own journey. So, these little dots right here, I love how it, it emphasizes the the re the repetition of one word. I love that. So, it's always going to say there's going to be a lot of words over God. There's going to be a lot of repetition. So that's an important word. Same thing with creation. That's going to be an important word. The only thing I haven't figured out yet, and I don't know if this is because it was broken up into multiple different books. I don't think this is a timeline. It could be a timeline, but there's no note for this in the appendix or right here. There, That number is nowhere. But it, if you read the uh, pages, the prefix at the beginning, it did say some of these numbers won't be correct because they took a multiple different little books and crammed them into one book. So that will happen every now and then you'll get a little misplaced note like this one. So just just wanted just wanted to let you be aware of that. I did I did read that. But there's just that was just page one. There is <laughs> so much. And I am so excited. So don't pull out this Bible if you had a hard day at work. Man, woman, it does not matter. Don't pull out this Bible if you had a hard day at work and you're like, okay, I'm ready for a good deep dive, you know, deep dive into God's word and I want to be inspired and I want him to teach me and guide me. And then you come here and then you're just frustrated and you put this Bible away and then you go on to pulling out your phone because you couldn't really obtain what you're reading just get a different bible there's a special time and special place for bibles like this i will say that the last time <laughs> this page has more of god's word than it does study bibles so they're not going to have every page being overwhelmed with so many study notes so i, I did want to say that i'm sorry i can't put both pages in and let me try to back this up here in the camera here but that's how I love how they do that that's how they structure 
And what's another amazing thing is this isn't like every study Bible on the market. This is new. This gets you excited. This gets you like, oh, a new way of looking at God's word. Yes, this is a KJV translation. Yes, it's a little bit more difficult. That does not matter. Like if we can read, we can read something that is archaic, that is old. It doesn't, there, there, there should never, ever, ever be an excuse on why you're not reading your Bible. Like just take time with it. Read one chapter over and over and over again until you're understanding it. Like there's a time and a place for all translations. I really, truly, truly believe that. I like how they really break down some notes. Like you'll get a note for one of these, probably this one right here. So this note is right here. And then you get more verses to look down. And then here's, then it drops down to another one and another one. It's just, wow, 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 wow. And you know me, I'm Kat. So I'm not only going to read this, I'm going to be marking in my in my traveler's notebooks i'm going to be making notes i'm going to be really like this study notes powerful okay good i'm going to write that down after i write down the verse i'm just i'm going to really explore and enjoy this bible but i'm not and i'm not like so good of a christian to where i can do this every single day i could probably pick right now how hectic my life is I probably can only get into this Bible and my mind can only obtain this Bible maybe two times a month. Like that's how that's how crazy things are right now. And that's okay. Maybe next year I can pick it up five times a month. Who knows? Everything changes. Like our lifestyle changes. Sometimes we have slow, um, slower months, slower seasons to where we can take. We can spend maybe two months on just one chapter of the book maybe even a couple of verses so oh this, this is this is going to be so amazing it truly truly is and it's real easy it's real easy to tell like once you know the layout and then look at this margin space i haven't even begun to express the margin space the margin space in the gutter on the outer margin there's so much margin space. Now, me personally, I like writing in the Bible. I like having my notes in the Bible. But because there's so much already right here, I think having my own notes here, it it may just be way too much. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use this. I don't know if I'm going to use this just to keep it clean and keep it for the study note and study Bible that it is. I don't know or I don't know if I'm just gonna dive on into it and just mark it up <laughs> it you can do either or now I did mark a study note I wanted to show you real quick this is Psalms we all know how I love Psalms I was looking at this so right here we are on page um, 776 all right but for this note we have to go back to page 775 and now if we're reading here all right we'll say a no a noise like a dog okay remember that like a dog so we're going to go back and the note the letter is f so let's go back to page 775 which is right here we're going to look up well there's f all right there's two F's, but this is right here. This is the beginning of the next one. So this is just, this is page 775 F, but this is telling us, hey, the note that you're looking for is over here. So we're gonna sit there and look, and our letter over there, our number was 14. Here's our verse number. So we're F14 in comparison to a dog. What? So this is page 75, so we have this F here, and another page where it was talking about a dog, there's the F. There's the F here, verse 6. So we're going to come up here, F, and there's verse 6, comparison of a dog. So it's really easy. You just got to, you got to learn. Like you just, you got to read. That's all, that's really all it is. Read, learning, and once your brain connects the dots, like, oh, 
Okay, we're going to go back a page. We're going to come, pay, you know, here. We're going to go down to look for the verse. Like, it, it really, really, truly is. It gets, it gets easy. Oops. Glad I didn't rip that. It's on the next page. It, it just, it gets easier, which every, with every time that you use it. That's a big study note. That's in Daniel. This is the New Testament. Now, are there any new information dividing the New Testament? Okay, New Testament, that's the title page. And we have a couple of prefix pages to go to. So there's probably more information in the prefix to look up. And then, what is it, enter? Relate relation? No, there's no S. Willish. Well, anyway, so the four, the four. Yeah, I'm horrible with reading, so that's why I, I never read. You guys can see it for yourself. <laughs> Let me bring you in just a little bit closer. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we have a little information over these books, and then some more information down here, and then like with the Old Testament, we have the old, um, the New Testament introduction to the book of Matthew then of course we have some prefix pages to go in the back of the prefix to look up then we have notes over Matthew and the Gospels and then just this small from one to six of the huge uh, the G what is it the G I know the name I know the name I know the name oh where it talks about all the generational, like this person beget this person, this person, yeah, that whole long page. <laughs> we only have only one through six, and that's all the information talking. So, which is cool because it can also help you understand why is there so many begets and begets, and this person had this person, and this person, depending on the translation that you're reading. Yes, the sorry, our little producer just popped up. He's here with us. But, like, this really, this really will help you. Just take some time, even if you have to not follow um, every single note. Even if you say, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to read these notes right here before I come over here. You can do that, too. And then once you're reading, you'll be like, oh, okay, I, I remember where that note was. That note was right here, so I'm going to follow it. Or, Oh yeah, that note that note was way down here. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna follow it and then read it in context. You can you can do that too. You can do whatever you want and follow however you need to. Do what you need to to learn how to use the Bible. Alright. So much information. Oh, this is exciting. Like, I am shaking. That's how excited I am over this Bible. Never, ever seen something like this. The closest one I can think of is the Dake Annotated Study Bible because, again, he has so many. But his, his notes are more like list, so they're super, super easy to follow. This, you're going back to a page just like the chain system, how you're constantly back and forth, back and forth. So that's why I have two Bibles for that one. I use the main Bible as the page that I'm looking at, and I use the other Bible to flip through and go back and forth. All right, so like I showed at the beginning, this is the appendix. So this is going to come back through, and this is the index. So you can see what you're going to be looking up. So typically they'll give you this number, and then this number will give you the page number that you have to go through back here. But if you're just like quickly scrolling through, you're seeing there's so much. Let me go ahead and remove these. There's so much information. Oh, I did want to look at the spiritual significance to numbers. I've heard about that before. And like there's, there's really meaning behind the numbers. But I don't have anyone to talk to about that kind of stuff. So I got to learn on my own. I got to let the Holy Spirit say, hey, cat, this is what you got to look at. This is what you got to read. This is what you don't got to pay attention to. God will help me with everything. He, he will help teach me with everything that I, I need to know. And he's done it. He's done it over 
six years and I've, I've grown so much. That's pretty cool. From the creation of the flood. Huh. Ooh, I like that script. That script is very, very, very beautiful. So these pages look like copies that are like actual printout copies from one of the previous books. So that's pretty cool because they did say it was multiple books. That script is just beautiful. I think there was a map or, oh yeah, there's an illustration. I didn't know they had illustrations. Well, they don't throughout the Bible, but in back here they do. And then you can see some Hebrew writing or Aramaic. I don't know if this is Old Testament or Greek. I don't know. Just some kind of, this is probably, if I take a quick glance, I should say the name somewhere on where it is. If it's referring to the Old Testament, it will be Hebrew. If it's the New Testament, it will be Greek or Aramaic. I'm just not finding it. It's probably New Testament. Okay, we're going to continue on moving. Talk songs. Ooh, I like the little, the temples. I like how they have, like they should visually show you where everything was. I really like those. Another chart. All right, so we're not going to go through the whole thing. I did want to show you in the back, back here with everything. So say you wanted to look through all this information right here up towards the back, the appendix. You wanted to look through something quicker than just trying to scroll through it like I was doing. They have an index to the appendix. So a way quicker way to look things up. I really, really, really like that. I didn't know if they were going to have something like that because there is so much information. But they do. I'm trying to show you these two pages that want to stick on me. There's three pages that want to stick on me. So, yeah, they, they do. And it's a few, it's multiple pages there. They're just all sticky. And then we have several of blank pages. So if you're wanting to take some study notes, wow. Yeah, there are a lot of pages. Here, Nuggie. Here, get down. I'm almost done. Get down. I can't go over your head and do this. So yeah, page after page after page. So if there is something that you want to remember, you can write down the page number. You can write down the study note prayers, thoughts, they are on the same Bible paper. So this isn't like something special. So make sure you use a tester page. If you are going to mark throughout the Bible, use this page because it's the same paper as the Bible itself. Okay. So don't mark on anything. Don't mark on this thing thinking whatever works on this thing is going to work on this paper. Okay. Fair warning. Okay, you all, no maps, no anything colorful, no nothing like that. This is definitely a serious, serious student Bible. That's exactly what this is. You want to be a student of the Word? Get this Bible. You, it's just a must-have in your collection. This is a great sitting around um, the table with a couple of friends, talking about it, having a discussion. This is a great way to... I would not suggest this Bible to a baby Christian because this is a great way to overwhelm them. It really is because they're going to think like, oh, all Bibles are going to be like this. And they're not. We know that as, as a community here. <laughs> but this is a great one for all students. I mean, if you're wanting to get into the Bible and you're wanting to learn and you're wanting to grow, no matter how difficult it may seem, we have to stretch our legs out. We have to get our wheels turning and we really have to start pushing ourselves. Being comfortable in our little um, creative, just always everything bright, colorful stickers and stuff like that box. We cannot only always just do that. We have to do the hard work too. This is part of it. This is part of, of the growth. You can't grow just doing the same thing every day over and over and over again. You have to do something different and something difficult. So, not saying you have to do it all the time, but you do have to, you do have to push yourself, okay? Now that is it. If you do have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I do love communicating with you all. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. Thank you so much, Sonia, for this Bible. Oh, you are so bright. It is 
the perfect Bible for every everybody. So it's one I really think we were all going to benefit from. I know I am. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot appreciate you enough and all that you have done for this channel. I love you to pieces. I will talk to you later. Bye.